Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back to finish my pumpkin. So I finished up. It's so cute. I hope the clay got harder overnight. But this is how the lid looks. It, you know, I filled in some of those holes, but I put some swirlies, and I, you know, I tried to keep them closer to the... So I didn't want them to stick up too much. And I don't know if I'll put flowers on the lid. I'm going to set that aside. And here's our girl. I'm just going to put a few. I'm not going to go crazy. And then I'm going to bake it. And then I'm going to antique it. And I already filmed a, um antiquing video which now I, I might not need to post it maybe I won't post that and I'll just do it in this this part two all right so we're gonna do some applique and I've decided to just use yellow and I think I'll use this brighter orange yeah that'll look cool um just going with fall theme uh colors for like chrysanthemums or sunflowers or something um i did them on my original when we did the live and i don't love how i used um the i was gonna do white because i love white mums but the, it gets so dirty when you antique it so i'm not gonna bother with the white um and then when i put the um the ink of gold on there it just covered it all up um, so I'm going to just work with yellow and orange, I think, and I'll probably use black for the centers. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So to do applique, you're going to need a toothpick. So I like to just, I just buy, I think I got this at Target. Um, and it's just a regular toothpick, although this has a, it doesn't have a double sided tip. And I roll this out, and just because this is my little stash of where I'm now, oh my gosh, I can tell that this is Sculpey. It is crazy. This is so soft, and this is just firm. My yellow, I can tell. So I'm just rolling out a couple of snakes, and so that I can keep the petals consistent. That's important. So when you're picking off your little um, ball of clay, they should be the same size and that way you'll get a more um, uniform looking flower so I'm gonna go with something like that about that um, width all right um, I think I'm just gonna put them here and there like maybe three or four and call it a day I'm not gonna get crazy with it in, in other words and that is hard <laughs> for me because I I'm going to put in, I'm going to use my ball tool and put the center so I know where I'm going with these. So I'm going to put a couple over here. Here's, I'm going to put one there, one there, put one up here. See, I kind of want to put one there. I can. I can put it wherever I want to. Definitely up there. So I'm going to just start. And actually, I'm just going to roll out a bunch of little balls of clay first. So this is very, very entertaining. <laughs> this is super entertaining to watch. All right. I'm on two cups. This is my second cup of coffee. Mm. I think I'm a little addicted to coffee. I drink um, the Starbucks iced coffee. They sell it in the refrigerator section of your grocery stores now. And I used to work at Starbucks about four years ago. Um, I was a barista. And it's hard work, you guys. I'm just saying. And I was really good at it. I was a good barista. I liked my customers and it was fun but it is it's hard work you know and it's messy work um, I'm gonna I gotta get my nails done I have paint on me. I'm glad I'm doing this little guy before I get them done because uh, I'll muck up everything anyway 
I was really addicted and the pumpkin spice latte is back speaking of fall which we haven't been speaking of at all but it's fall <laughs> and so uh, yeah I, I honestly like I was addicted and I've just lost like 20 pounds 25 pounds almost and so those things aren't you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think a latte a day is going to kill you. It's not going to, you know, the Frappuccinos, those probably, yeah, you sh there are tons of calories. Tons, tons, tons. Um, and I'm in New Jersey, and we have a place called Wawa, which I don't know if some of you may not know about Wawa, but it's like, it's kind of like a 7-Eleven or a... Um, you know, it's a convenience store basically, and they now make the lattes too. So you don't have to go to fancy old Starbucks. Anyway, um, <laughs> I just, I love iced coffee. I've always, back when I worked at Starbucks, we brewed it and made iced coffee. And Wawa does not have it. They had like a sweetened version of it. It was, they have their, you know, you could just go up and get iced coffee. But it just wasn't the same. I like it brewed like a regular cup of coffee. And then I like to add um, French vanilla creamer to it. That's how I drink it. And a stevia. I use stevia as sugar now. Stevia is from the stevia plant. And it's natural. It's not um, synthetic sugar. But it's non no calories. And I learned that when I went to Herbalife. Nutrition. Not Herbalife. Yeah, Herbalife. Anywho, see, I'm just rolling up balls and talking to you. <laughs> I, uh, and this is probably way more than enough. I like to put at least five petals on each flower. So this just makes it easier. And I could grab them as I go, but this will just make it easier for me. And then I can talk about coffee with you guys. As you can tell, I'm on my second cup. <laughs> so I'm a little chatty this morning. Um... Yeah, so then what happened was I was just in the in the grocery store and I found the Starbucks iced coffee that's in the freezer section. Like you would buy a bottle of orange or thing of orange juice. It comes with it comes in unsweetened, sweetened, and I think dark roast or something like that. Anyway, so good. But I go through it like crazy. Like I look forward to it it's like my go-to thing in the morning but like I w will have it midday I'll have it like it's in the refrigerator I'll just grab it and I have started drinking a lot of see I always have my bottle of water I always drink water now which is one of the things that was a big change for me um, and I love I love 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 drinking my water it's it's good for you so I'm gonna put a yellow right here sorry all right so that's my coffee story and then I'll just put them in near that little circle and then what you want to do is let me go in a little more hopefully I'll stay in the shot that's my you take your toothpick and just point it down so you're gonna point it into that center kinda roll and just push like that I mean I'll get better as I go too and push it into place and you just create these little cute looking they're kind of small I don't know because if I made the if I made the little pieces the petals teardrop shape they would come out more elongated so that's what I'm gonna do when I, I could I'll put little leaves so I'm gonna just hold this today on the top and the bottom and try to Uh, not mess up my my little girl here because she's looking so cute and I always turn the piece for my convenience so that it makes me that I feel comfortable all right we'll put an orange one see I, I think I just want to go yellow let's just go all yellow maybe one two um because I think it looks good yellow so I think I might just not use those now three and this is going to turn all brown or whatever when I um, antique it 
So maybe I won't, I'll try to not put the uh, paint on the flowers. We'll see how it goes. I have to put it on the, the leaf because I want to be able to see the lines and all that. But we'll see. We'll, we shall see. She's my pumpkin. I can do what I want. Oh boy, that is so cute. I'm just doing yellow. So what other stories can I tell you? Um, <laughs> you know what, I'll just do it. I'll do it one at a time. Because look, this, there's another way you could do it. So I roll out my snake. But see, it's easier if you keep it a consistent um, size. Then when I go to, I can just take my nail and get the same size each time. I mean, you try to. You know, you try to, and it's not, I mean, it's not that big a deal if they're not. And I, you can make these tiny, tiny, tiny little balls and you get really intricate. Um, like, look, I'll let you look at this while I'm, but see how, like, I changed the shape of the petal by creating a teardrop. And that's just, that's how you do these little leaves. But look how tiny the little balls of clay are. I think, let's see, they're about the same. I think my, my um, I'll call them daisies or, oh my god, it's so cute. I can't even deal. I can't take it. I can't take it. It's too fun. All right, so I have two over here. And as they get closer to um, my leaf, I got to be careful that I don't mess up my leaf. Um. This tip seems like it has a little bend in it. I think I used it to open a locket the other day. I am going to get a new one. Why not? So what else could I talk about? Um, I don't know. See, if we were, if we were live, this would be a good opportunity to chat with you guys because this is kind of very zen I like honestly guys that's why I named my all right I'll tell you this story my YouTube channel was going to be named sassafras crafts something like that but it was already taken so I had to think of something else because my dad used to call me sassafras and um, my name is Sarah but uh so that was taken. So I just thought about it for a second and thought, well, really, crafts are my serenity. They are. Like, it just came to me. I'm like, this is what I do to be in a zone, to be away from the real world. And it's a happy place for me. I really feel calm and um, happy so it, that was it my serenity crafts came to be um, and because of the name I think I've just embraced it and all the more and decided that my channel is just it's only for fun. It's not for drama. Um, so I think I'm going to put, I, and I'll probably create a little more viney. All right, let's just go do this side. Um, and it's been a process of learning what you guys like. So the real-time videos, that is a big thing because I personally like real-time videos. When I first started doing YouTube, um, those were the videos that I watched the most because I was watching them to learn. I wanted to learn and understand the process. That's huge for me. Um, I need to know why, oh look, there's a hole there. 
I think I'll make a flower down there. What the hell? Did I just put that there? I don't think I did. I think that was left from yesterday. I don't remember. Anywho, so uh, real time and um, a good HD video are what I like. So basically, I kind of went with what I like to design my channel, what I would like to see. And um, I think it's worked out. I think you guys get it. You understand that, you know, that's what I do over here is kind of have fun. That's not to say that I, you know, I have made my videos. Oopsie, I squooshed that one. That one might, I went sideways. I'm going to create my ball again and just do it again. Hopefully, yeah, I'm in the shot. Look at that. All right, and they don't have to be perfect. I mean, like I said, I am not a perfectionist in my crafting. You have to realize that what what happens here is is me. I'm. It is me. Like this is part of me. So I'm not perfect at all. <laughs> and so why would my crafting be perfect? Why would anything? My words are not perfect. Nothing's perfect of me. I don't try to be perfect either. I mean, I let my essence be, but I do, I try to be a good person. I try to be a kind person. And I try to be um, compassionate, understanding, all that good stuff. So I, I do watch my language to a, a certain extent, but the real me cusses. I do cuss in my real life. Not like a truck driver, although my husband calls me, hey, <laughs> my husband will say, okay, okay, uh, what does he call me? Mm. I forget. Sailor. He says sailor. Okay, sailor. Anywho. <laughs> TMI, right? See, look, I'm losing my lashes here. I'm going to have to fix them. But how cute, guys. Come on. And the thing is, you can go to town and make it as uh, intricate or not as you want. So, I'm kind of having fun telling you these stories. I don't know why. I'm just on two cups of coffee. <laughs> it's a scary, scary thing. Um, so, I can just go off camera because my last video, like, I think I average about an hour generally real time from start to finish for a project I, I guess that's about av you know that's that's actual literal I mean it takes like an hour to do stuff so um yeah I, I mean I appreciate you guys watching too um so anywho I'm gonna go off camera Actually, you know what? I think, well, let me finish this because I'm pretty much ready to bake. So I'll bake it and I'll be back because then I can touch it and I think I'm going to antique this with you guys because I just did a, um, I, ha I did film a video of me antiquing my last one and, but I don't need to post it. I didn't post that. I won't post it. I'll, I'll do her. Which just makes sense. OMG, this is so cute. All right. So, here, let me get a little bit of black. I have a couple, I'll put a couple more daisies, but I'm just going to get a little, and I can tell this is Sculpey too. Oh, and it's so soft. All right, I'm really close up. Sorry. So, I'm going to get a little snake of black and make some centers. Let me see my centers on here. See, I put the black for these black eyed, whatever they're called, my daisies. And then I did do yellow on the rest of them. And I like to kind of smoosh them down, but you could just leave them as little balls. But I like to smoosh them down. And then look, these are called little flyaways. I can't think of the, the one tutorial I saw where she did that. And I love doing that because it kind of gives the illusion that there's flowers behind these flowers as well it just creates depth i don't know it's just cute 
Anywho, um, so let's put a couple of centers on here and then I'll go away. I'm gonna bake it and do the big reveal and then I'm gonna antique it for you guys and finish it off because that's what will make her little features stand out. Oh boy, it's too cute. All right, so I'm gonna take this little ball of black clay pop it in the center and then I'll take uh, it's not my smallest ball tool it's kind of like the medium and just tap it in there so I'm not completely squishing it it makes a little dip it makes a, like a little dish out of it kind of creates a bowl and that center is kind of big but I like it so I'm just gonna put am I in this yeah Create a little bowl, see? And then, oh, that's too big. I just kind of want to make, I, I think I might make another one today. I was kind of hoping it was going to rain. <laughs> so I, because I have to do stuff. I always have to do stuff. And so, um, my granddaughter comes tonight. She stays with us on the weekends. and um, So you can never get as much done when the kids are around. So you moms, I understand when you take time and do your, you got to get in the craft room because it's your alone time. It's your mom time for yourself. OMJ. Come on. It's too cute. Like I could have put any other color but black. Like that's one thing I've learned from taking classes like Wonderlust or um, online classes and stuff in uh, your art. Add a pop of black or white to your project and it just is, su it finishes it off. It does no matter how much, because I love bright color, don't get me wrong, but adding that contrast color is huge that, oh my god I'm so happy I am so happy look there's one down there I might put more I think I'm gonna put more so all right I'm gonna go away should I put like a flower on here at least one right I'll put one over here but I did such a good job of any anyway so I'm going to bake this. Now I'm going to bake it for half an hour because the Primo says 30 minutes per quarter inch. Sculpey's only 15, but um, the, the stem is a bit thick. It's definitely, whoa. <laughs> it's definitely um, a quarter inch. It's definitely over a quarter inch. And I don't know if it's Sculpey or Primo. But if I do it for a half an hour, it should be fine. So I'll be back when it's baked, and we'll antique it and finish it off with some um, Inca gold and all that good stuff. So I'll be back. All right, we're back. Is this not the stinking cutest? Ready? Okay, here we go. I think this is close enough. I'm in love. She's adorable. Um, but she's going to be even cuter. So we're going to antique now. And I'm going to be very careful when it comes to these little curly cues because on my original one, uh, this guy, I broke one off here just because I'm so rough and I left it off. I could glue it back on, but I don't know. And actually, someone mentioned, and I'm going to go get it. Um, I can, you can hear me. I'm going to grab my wire. I'm going to use uh, probably this color. I really like this. I could use gold, silver, any color. But why couldn't I use wire and twist it? So let me get like a pencil or something. I have a pencil here. Twi ouch. This one's a little hard. That one's like probably a thicker gauge. Ouch. <laughs> it's hard. It hurts me. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. Crafting should be gentle. 
all right but look okay and then ta-da I mean it's not as small so I'll have to figure something out but yes you could absolutely use wire and I should I should remember who says this stuff I don't um, like I read it quickly and then I don't you know I don't remember let's see let's see let's see uh, I don't know it's not here I think I already um, it's on my website like I was just looking at my messages maybe I'll find it quickly here I just want to thank them because you guys actually that's what I'm talking about like I love YouTube here we go wait no for um nope I can't find it hold on notifications that's what I'm looking for uh, I don't see it I don't know why you know what it might be on my Facebook oh gosh let me look yes Gina Marie Gorman these are adorable I was thinking about the issue you mentioned with the vines falling or breaking off what if we mixed media some more and used copper wire so Gina thank you thank you thank you you guys are too freaking smart um yes so that is definitely something why didn't I think of that I don't know all right so we're going to antique her so I'm gonna grab um, just a piece of jelly paper and I've been using asphaltum which is this brown color I have a kind of an old scruffy brush here it's not um, I use it for glue and stuff like that so it's not real good see and I'm because I want to get this paint in the nooks and crannies so I'll do the lid first and basically I really want it in the um, vine the veins on the leaves so I'm kind of pushing it in there but I don't want to disturb or I don't want to really muck about with um, those curly cues I'm gonna need more paint um, where the heck did I put it right here so I I'm gonna stay away because that's what I'm this is where I get lazy and careless and I rush because I'm impatient and it's not fun like this isn't really fun <laughs> I mean it's not you know it's nothing it's just slapping paint on here but and I really I kind of don't want to put it on my flowers but let's see what this one looks like all right so that's pretty thick put it on the stem too it won't really show up as much black would probably show up much better on the stem and just gonna set it down put this in the water and I'm gonna grab a paper towel just a regular dry paper towel first and just kind of wipe that off with a dry paper towel uh, <clears throat> the she should be easier because I didn't really leave anything well this leaf is sticking up but see how they're on there they're not going anywhere so let me just pick this up and I'm just blotting or kind of I'm not even wiping I just want to get the majority of the moisture off so that I don't get totally covered in paint which you know I'm gonna but and then you just wipe I'm gonna put some um, ink of gold on here too to kind of brighten it up so don't panic but this is what scares me about antiquing <clears throat> excuse me because I love the bright color of the clay the way it is too you know so 
it's a little scary when you put when you cover the beautiful clay up so I'm gonna get a q-tip and go in there too maybe a baby wipe but I'm really 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 trying to be gentle because I'm not gentle um, and I break it and then I'm unhappy so I'm gonna try and be gentle so the sides I can I'm kind of just wiping really good got paint inside doesn't matter so I'm gonna grab a q-tip couple q-tips and gently I don't want to break that maybe a little bit of water loosen it up a little bit what's the matter Kirby me and Kirby went for a long walk while this was baking now she's tired she gets tired I, I never knew oh see I'm trying to be gentle I never knew dogs slept so much um, but she's a sleepy head she's only 11 pounds I mean I guess she's you know she only has so much energy now this is a baby wipe because I'm impatient and I can't make it move as fast as I'd like but it's staying in the nooks and crannies but you don't want to wipe too hard hopefully the paint will stay in the holes so see how it stayed in my creases but you, I can pull that out so I don't want to I'm gonna leave it for a few more minutes and then I'll give it a wipe and this didn't really get any real change to it the stem but I'm gonna um, use the Inca gold on that so just gently all right let's do the the pumpkin this is where we're gonna really see the biggest difference and maybe I'll do it a section at a time so I I don't have to panic let's do her face so we can just see all that detail so I'll do this little section right here and you can get the paint off the glass that's not a problem it'll come off but I kind of want it in the any indentions indentions is that a good word that I've made so I'm kind of stabbing it like that and I'll let it sit for a sec and if you let it sit then you'll have a better shot with doing it with the baby wipe because it'll be so look that's what the yellow flowers are gonna look like you can still tell they're yellow but they're not as bright as when that's why when I do applique pieces like this I don't antique it I don't want to dull that color down I like it like that so you know to each his own and do what you like if you don't want to antique it don't antique it and that you know that's good so I think this is it's just bringing out all those little details that I added so that's what I'm liking about it all right here I go let's see what this is going to do just try and be gentle when things are sticking up I kind of don't want to pull off my petals on my little flowers but OMG you can see a little face now and it'll, it's going to get cuter guys I'm going to take the paint out of the glass part so it takes some time so I'm going to work on this let me get my baby wipe and go over it, the surface and try to clean it up a little bit more
because most of that paint stays in the in the nooks and crannies like these the ones that I really intentionally and definitely in the eyes and the face all right so I'll be right back I'm gonna go around this whole thing and then we're gonna add some shine I'll be right back all right I just wanted to let you know I actually just did the whole thing and I dampened a paper towel so it's not sopping wet like my baby wipe it's a little more dry than wet but I like that better that actually because it it can it bends a little easier it's getting in the nooks and crannies I'm liking the um, it's fast like I, I like it so you know a dry paper towel might be too dry um, but a moist paper towel is a better you get a better result it, it, it works uh, <clears throat> a little easier is a good word it, it, it pulls it off now look I'm not getting a lot of um, the black I'm covering up the the black in the center of my flower and I don't like that so I'm going to take a um, q-tip and really try to clean that out with some water I also use a paintbrush. See, that's better. I want to be able to tell that it's black. I like that. So I'm really cleaning that out. I'm trying to keep the brown in the uh, in the petal part so that you can see the separation of the petals and all that. But I think I like. I want to see the black. And so I'm I'm really kind of cleaning that out. I don't want it to be. All right, I've I've said it in enough ways. You know what I'm. <laughs> all right. Yes, better. All right. So. Good. I can totally see the black. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Some areas are, I don't know, I think I like it a little neater. I think that's something for me. Like, I like it to be neat, not like messy looking. And I think the clay because when I'm creating it, I'm trying to do it neatly and nice and, you know, in an orderly fashion. And then adding this paint, it's just, it's pro, or it's counteractive to that or counterintuitive or something. You know what I'm saying? So now this is a baby wipe and I'm just getting anything that's really on the surface. You like her? I do. I think she's adorable. All right, I'm going to stop. Let me come back to this lid and make sure it is satisfactory to my liking. It is. It really is. All right, now something. This is going to be fun because we're going to brighten it up again with, so I'll show you the difference. Let me just clean my hands a little bit. I'm going to use, um, mica paste I guess you would consider it I'll show you and um, when I did this the other day I told you I filmed when I did it to the other ones these were all dry and moldy and I think that's an issue with the Inca gold it definitely I've seen other videos where people talk about the um, the product gets mold on it I'll show you so I have some orange I have this is called copper and I have green where's my green anyway I have green so I will be at, oh, here it is adding a little bit of um, shine to everything there was just a puddle underneath that leaf I don't want puddles under there see I can't really you know what this is one thing I forgot to show you so you can take a paintbrush and actually with water on it, you can get the puddles out that way. So I just pulled out color from there. Um, 
because I'm being a stickler. I don't know why. All right, good. Um, I just want it to look nice. So, uh, okay, so Inca Gold. Let me grab the orange. It's a paste, usually, and when you first get it, it's nice and um, creamy. So what happens is, I don't know if air gets in there and it gets moldy and so I've already gone and just wiped out any of the mold that I see off the surface of it and so then you're left with this but it's not really pasty anymore it's very waxy it's more solid like a wax but you can still get the the pigment off onto your finger and that's what you want to do because we're going to take this and look so here's one that I've already done and look at the difference do you see that all that shine so now we're gonna bring the surface clay so what we did with the antiquing was get the all the nooks and crannies the detail now we're gonna bring out some oh you know what I want to get pink I want to get I have a pink in here I have red and I have pink so let's see if this is because I haven't used it let's see if this is moldy Oh no, it stayed pretty good. Oh, it's kind of, um, well, it's not really pasty though. I'd say they go from a nice creamy paste to a, like a waxy solid, you know. All right, I want to give her pink cheeks. I think it's going to be cute. I need a little water. So sometimes if you can't get it to activate, you just spray a little water. I'll put a little on my orange too. And that kind of creams it up again. Sort of, kind of. Look at that. All right, let's go. All right, watch this. I just squirted it. Oops. Eh, it's not, it's not as, you know, what I'd hoped. I could give her eyeshadow. Eh, it's all right. Let's just, I'll put a little around her lips, too. That's cute. All right, whatever. <laughs> I figured I have it. Let's give her a little maybe purple eyeshadow or green eyeshadow. I'll give her green eyeshadow. So yeah, this one got really like you can still see some of the mold in there. But this one got really dried out and I broke it yesterday when I was wiping it. So anywho, I don't know. But listen, it, it could be me. I could be doing user error type, you know, stuff to it. But let's give her some green eyeshadow. Just mix it up a little bit and while I have the green out I'll put some on these leaves the um the light green that I used is already kind of a, a nice pearlescent and this is glitter clay so that's why like I'm telling you antiquing is interesting because her lips look funny she doesn't know how to put lipstick on, like me, no. All right, so I'm going to put some orange now. Well, actually, while I have the green, let me put it on my uh, lid. And you'll see little fuzzies from your Q-tips and... But see, look at that little shine just on the edges and stuff. On the vine. I think I got these online. Uh, I get a lot of stuff on Amazon. So, um... I'm just putting it on the little um, stems. So yeah, you can see the shine as I come around, right? All right, let's put some of the orange on. I guess that purple goes on the green. I must have mixed up the tops at some point. All right.
I'm going right over the pink and the green. Because I'm kind of a, a heavy hand, and I say that all the time, but what, like what that means is I'm not gentle and, and light touch. I don't have a light touch. So this, it's all going to be heavy, <laughs> thick, and uh, a lot, because I, that's just my nature, so it becomes part of my art, you know, I can't help it. Oh, but look at that effect. I just rubbed it across there, and it only picks up on the surface. I don't know if you can see that. It's super cool. So my nature shows in my art because I can't help it. I can't help but bring it to the table, so to speak, when I create. So look at that. And you can go as heavy or as light as you want. Um, but what's great about it is you don't cover up the antiquing. It's, it's definitely part of the... And the pink is still showing. That's so cute. All right. I got to put a little bit on the edges of the lid. And, you know, I told you that Gina said... We could use wire for the curly cues. Why not add some bling? So I'm, I have a couple more. I have another baby food jar sitting here. So I'll play around. And why not change the color of your pumpkin? You could make a purple pumpkin. Why not? You could make a blue pumpkin. You know, whatever color you want to do, do it. Make it your own. Um, but you could add little bling to it. Like I have the, these little Swarovski crystals. And, you know, you could put crystals in the eyes. My husband wanted me to make one with, a, with dragon's eyes. So the little dragon's eyes that I've done before, he's like, make a pumpkin with dragon's eyes or one of the bigger votives. So, you know, it's what, and he thinks of things that I would never think of. Like, we are so opposite. So, you know, you guys giving me suggestions, I can't, and then please, please, if you, if you can. And people have been asking on my Facebook page, where do they post? And I'm going to show you where I think how you do it. I'll show you in a sec. Let me squirt this. So this is just the copper. And because I don't have any um, browns, I only have metallics, I'm just going to do the stem with copper. And it kind of is, matches the color of the pumpkin, but that's okay. Why not put it here and there, right? Hopefully I'm in the shot. So there she is, guys. Super cute. I'm gonna clean it um, a little bit more where the where the light shines through, but also probably gonna spray it with uh, matte varnish. I just have a Krylon matte spray, so I think I'll take these all outside and just give them a a, a spray, and that way it'll just seal everything on there that we've put on there so when it's handled over time it it should um, you know last longer but let me just clean out her eyes real quick and that's it and I'm gonna put put her light on inside And turn off the light and introduce you to the whole family. These are so stinking cute. This one especially because I liked that I could change the shape of everyone because of this different, um, let me come up, the different size baby food jars I got. I'll just turn it off. It's bright enough in here because the it's sunshine. I'm gonna turn. I gotta turn them all on. Sorry. So remember, these were the twist ones. These are called um, submergible or something like that. I don't know where I put them. Oh, right here. They're called yes, yeah, submersible, submersible tea lights. I guess you drop them in your pool. 
stuff like that. But because my baby food jars were smaller, I had to go find something that would fit in this little guy. Really, it was your fault, buddy. And, but they sell the other tea lights, these. These are flickering, and I love the flickering ones. I think the other ones flicker too, but the flickering ones are super cool because they actually look like real tea lights. So here they are. I'll take a picture of them, like, standing up. I posted one on Facebook, but aren't they adorable? They're so cute. I love it. So this one's the plainest. All I did was just texturize and then put the stripe marks on there for the, you know, the little pumpkin um, wedges, I don't know, and just some leaves and swirly. So he's the plainest. Then the second one I made, I think I just did the same thing to both of these. But look at all the texture I put on him, this angry one. He's angry. OMG, they're so cute. So he's got lots of texture. And then this one, he's happy, but he's got lots of texture, but I changed the color. So just by adding a little bit of brown to the to the orange, I came up with this kind of um, burnt orange color. And they're a little different. Like this one seems a little lighter and this one actually seems a little darker. So play, have fun, enjoy, and as always, thanks for watching.